Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to explore on how to integrate Jira with Microsoft Teams. Let's begin. Now, the first thing you need to do is to log into your credentials by clicking on the sign in button. And from here, you can directly sign in using your email, phone, or Skype, or you have the sign in options down below wherein you can use your face fingerprint pin or security key use your device to sign in with a passkey or you can simply sign in with github and once you have done that log into your jira account and if this is your first time here in jira you might want to click on the create an account button and like microsoft teams all you're going to do is provide your work email or you can continue with their google your Apple, Microsoft, or Slack account, and click on the sign up button, and you're all set. Now, once you are on your Jira account, remember that integrating Jira with a Microsoft Teams can streamline your workflow by bringing Jira notifications and updates directly into your team chat Teams channels. So, basically, here's you can you can set it up. It's very straightforward and easy. Now, from your interface, it depends on what your version you're using. But as you can see, you have uh, two ways to access your apps so that you can manage to integrate Microsoft Teams to your Jira. You have an option here. Click on apps. And explore more apps. Okay, it's that easy. And once you've done that, all you're going to do is search for Okay, there you go. So, we have too much options here. But basically, what we're looking for is the Microsoft Teams integration for Jira. Alright? Now, when you click on this one, you will be directed to a new page wherein there's an option here that says you can try it for free. When you click on it, there's a new pop-up window that says a lot more information. Now, from here, if you integrate Microsoft 365 for Jira, your Outlook email, Teams calendar will perform the following actions right here. If you are not familiar with Jira yet, so you can view email addresses of users, administer the host application and of course some jira projects right now click on the start free trial button and once you've done that you would be able to see a small notification window on the status of the uh, integration just wait for it and once it, it's successful you would see a notification down that your app has been added to your instance and is ready for use and all you're going to do is click on the manage app if you wanted to configure more settings. Now, once in the list of your manage apps, all you're going to do is click on it so you can have more information and click on settings. And you see this um, multiple options for you. You can simply click on apply if that works, right? Now, if you happen to have an account here in Zapier, you can simply create integrations between Jira Software Cloud and Microsoft Teams to automate any workflow and have these endless possibilities, all right? And all you're going to do is simply connect these apps by clicking these, the orange button right here. And once you've done that, you will be directed to a new page wherein this is going to be your first zap. Now from here, you can rename the zap itself. And obviously, the trigger is going to be the Jira Software Cloud. And the action or the event is going to be on the Microsoft Teams. And what we need to do is simply um, follow the on-screen instructions. Sit back and relax because Zapier will do the work for you. All right. Now, I'm suggesting another platform where you can integrate Jira for a two-way integration. And that website is called Unido. Okay, and again, you can customize your workflow with the uh, perfect fare. Now, this is going to be Jira. And all I'm going to do is search for Microsoft Teams. Right? And if that's available, all I'm going to do is click on that. And what would happen is they would sync anything in two-way integrations. 
is similar to Zap, but it's a lot easier in my opinion. All right. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one.